What's up everybody? It's Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, first off, you probably don't recognize that the background has changed once again. But if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. So if you're into improving your own mental and emotional well being, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And make sure you follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul, especially while I'm out of town for Thanksgiving vacation. And I hope you're all having the most amazing Thanksgiving. And if you're watching this, a day after, then it's not Thanksgiving anymore, but I hope you had a good one. All right, but anyways, yeah, uh, Slazo just made a new video about being canceled and his experience, and uh, some of you know my experience and everything like that, and yeah, I'll link Slazo's video down below. Awesome video, awesome, awesome video, and uh, it, it inspired me to make a video because there's some stuff I haven't talked about in a while, and for certain reasons, and I get requests and DMs and everything, you know. Um, I have amazing fans, all of you beautiful rewired soldiers out there. Um, when you know it's something that I'm interested in or that I talk about, you send me stuff. And a lot of you have noticed, like, I haven't been talking about cancel culture um, the last month or so, really. And yeah, so when I sat down to make this video, when I was thinking about making this video, I was like, I, I'm not gonna make this video. This is gonna be one of those videos where everybody's like, you're trying to get a pity party and you just don't know what you did and all these other things. And I'm like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fucking bother with that, right? But then I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, cause I made a promise to all of you guys, I will not put out a video on this channel unless I think it can help you, all right? So if nothing else, if you don't get anything else from this video, I want it to be this, know when to give up. Okay, let me repeat that for the people in the back. Know when to give up, all right? So, um, in Salsa's video, like, I'm happy for him, and it, it sucks because he's still feeling some of, the, some of the residual effects of being canceled and that paranoia and everything, um, but, you know, looking at everybody who's been canceled on the YouTube platform, you know, uh, I think people who did a great job coming back were James Charles, Slazo, um, people like Pro Jared. It took a little bit longer for him to come back and everything like that. But anyways, there's, these are definitely um, examples I wish I had, but, you know, when it all happened to me. Right, but all things considered, things are going very well for Slazo, um, you know, and he, I don't know if he's still going to therapy, but he mentioned going to therapy uh, when he came out with the My Side video, which he has since unlisted. But, but yeah, I was sitting there and I was looking at it and I was just like, you know, um, you know, and, and it's all based on perspective. I'm like, well, <laughs> you know, me coming back, I'm like, it, it was not good. It was really bad. And a lot of it was my fault. Like, I trust me. Like, if you're somebody who ruminates, oh, ho, 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 ho. like my brain has been ruminating for months about all the things I should have done different, all the different things I should have done different, right? But anyways, um, about a month ago or so, you know, I made a video talking about, you know, I wasted six months of my life. And it's because I'm a fighter, man. I am a fighter like say what you will about me but i'm a fighter and most of you guys watching this video you guys are fighters too like i had somebody dm me the other day about just it you know when you get in that mode where it just feels like you can't catch a fucking break right it just seems like since you were born every single you know situation where bad luck can be involved it happens right everything every time you think something good's about to happen it's just bad right and uh, this, this young woman DM'd me about that. I'm like, girl, I get it. I, I absolutely get it. Like, that's how I felt for a very long time. But the way I reframe that, and I hope you guys learned this as well, the way I reframe that is, if you're somebody like that who you feel like luck or the universe or whatever it is has just been throwing you curveballs your entire life, just remember that it means that you're a strong individual because 
you've been through it, right? Like, I'm not religious, but whenever I think about this, I think about this saying I heard, um, might have been from 12-step meetings, I don't know. But it's something along the lines of, you know, God gives his uh, hardest challenges to his uh, strongest warriors, something, something along those lines, right? So if you're religious, use that, or spiritual, or if you have some kind of higher power, use that, right? But I try to look at it in that way, and it kind of helps me out a little bit. But anyways, I'm a fighter, and I, I bounce back, and I try, you know, and I... Uh, I get passionate about things and something I was passionate for a while about was cancel culture. And, you know, I wrote my book and I just started talking about every instance of cancel culture. And yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much done with it. Um, I, I might eventually do something a little bit more in depth, but just know that I'm just done. I <laughs> threw in that towel. I just threw that shit in. I am, I'm done. I'm so fucking done. So anyways, uh, a great book that I recently read and oh my God, like if you're into psychology, especially evolutionary psychology, get this book. It's called Good Reasons for Bad Feelings. I'll link it down in the description below. And it talks, I've talked about it in my mental health blog recently too. I've linked it a couple times, but it talks a lot about, about why we have certain feelings. Like they, they look at like, like why... Why did we evolve to have depression or anxiety or trauma or schizophrenia? They even talk about eating disorders and addiction. And I won't spoil the book for you. Some of these things are just, you know, glitches in the system or diseases, you know, diseases. Like, um, they're things that just happen. But there, there's a whole chapter on, like, what is the evolutionary reason for low mood? Okay, and I'm not going to do this justice, but here's a, a an explanation, a little bit of an explanation, right? The guy, the author of that book, did way better than me. But anyways, <clears throat> let's say, let's say you're a hunter and gatherer, right? Let's say back in the day, you're you're out there picking berries, you're out there picking berries, picking berries, picking berries, right? And in the book, they have this kind of curve, right? And there's like this maximum height right? Where like the time you spent and you're getting a shitload of berries, right? You are just on a roll with these berries. You know what I mean? Well, there eventually comes a time after the peak of that curve where you're still putting in effort, but you're not getting the rewards, right? So it would not be beneficial to you or your tribe if you kept wasting time picking berries in a spot where the berries are gone, right? So part of the evolutionary explanation for a low mood or depressed feelings is that it's time to give up and move on, right? It's time to give up on this area and move to somewhere else. All of our feelings and emotions and everything, they're basically just signals, little warning bells going off, right? They do a great analogy in there. They call it like a smoke detector, where basically, you know, your smoke detector, sometimes it goes off when you're cooking, right? So there's not a fire, it just got a little smoky. But it's a good thing because it's better that that thing randomly goes off and you know that it works than it not to work and your whole house burns down. Same thing with some of our internal alarms, such as anxiety and depression and things like that. But anyways, what they found, what they found was many people with depression, okay? Like you can pinpoint, I'm not talking about like imbalance type depression, but a lot of people, a lot of people experienced in depression, you can pinpoint something in their life that they're not willing to let go of, that they're not willing to stop pursuing, right? They're still looking for berries where there are no more berries, okay? And the longer that you do that, maybe for you it's, you know, trying to hold on to a relationship that's no longer good, right? Maybe it's, you know, and that relationship can be with a significant other. Maybe it's a relationship with your job. Maybe you're just sitting around waiting and hoping, right? And your body's telling you like, yo, you got to bounce. You got to get out of here. You know what I mean? And I want you to think about that. If you want to leave a comment, right? Let me know if there's something that you can either, that you're either currently going through or something that you went through in the past where a lot of your depression was based on something that you kept pursuing. And I've been 
happy as fuck lately. All right, and my views are down. Every once in a while I get a video that gets a decent amount of views, but nothing, nothing like it used to be. But my views are down, um, subscribers down. I'm still losing subscribers fucking six months later and I'm happy as hell. And here's why, because I, I, I decided to quit fighting. I am done fucking fighting. I'm done trying to talk about cancel culture. I'm done trying to explain how I was wronged and, you know, point the finger and say, look at these bad people. Like, I'm just fucking done with that. You know what I mean? And that's why I'm just making videos and I make sure before I turn this damn camera on and hit record that I'm making videos that you can benefit from, that you can walk away from each video and have something that you can take away from it. And even if there isn't something, maybe you can give it to somebody else, all right? That is the only way I'll hit record on this video. Um, you know what I mean? And I've been happier because of it. Like some of you have noticed, uh, uh, you know, I've been putting my cats in, I've been doing little skits, I'm just getting more creative. I have like a lot of really fun, cool content um, coming up. Uh, some of you have noticed uh, I changed my banner on YouTube and on Twitter. I posted it on Instagram, uh, Kadri Milk. Um, her and I are working on a collaboration. Um, not sure when it'll be up. It'll be up in the next few days. Uh, I might wait until I get back home to Vegas. But yeah, uh, she started a channel. She's doing awesome. But anyways, she's, not only do we have a collab coming out, but she's helping me with this new kind of video format that I'm really, really excited about. But yeah, um, I just want everybody to look at their own lives uh, too. Like, like if I look at Slazo, if that, if his video, my side didn't work out so, so, so well, you know, I, 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 I'm wondering what it would be like, because for me, for me, there was nothing, there's still nothing that I can do to this day, you know, and finally, and it shouldn't have to take six months. It shouldn't have taken me six months. And, um, I apologize to all of you, like my loyal followers who stuck with me through that fucking crazy time, you know, of me, cause I can be a real stubborn, like when I, like, like I said, like I'll fight and I could be real stubborn about it too. And sometimes we just got to know when to give up. And like, I hate talking about giving up and I'm sorry to keep going, but the last thing I'll say, I hate talking about giving up. I fucking hate it, right? Because something I learned when I got sober, they said, don't leave before the miracle happens, right? There's so many people who I've seen relapse, just leave treatment, leave 12 step meetings, right? Right before their life started getting better, like right before, you know, and there's that kind of FOMO of like, don't give up because what if tomorrow's the day? What if tomorrow's the day, right? So I don't like talking about giving up because there's this, it's this weird kind of like, uh, what's the, what's the thing with the jump rope? Double Dutch, where you got to like time it and do it just right. You know what I mean? Um, sometimes giving up is the wrong decision. Sometimes it's the best fucking decision you can make. Like some of you gave up on a relationship finally, and now you're in a dope relationship. You know what I mean? And yeah, like one of my biggest regrets is that it took me six months to give up on fighting against cancel culture. Like again, like maybe eventually I might write something about it. I don't know, but it is like from everything that I've studied, it is a way more complex issue than I I ha I, then I have the sanity to even fight <laughs> anymore. Um, it's going to be a problem for a while unless some certain things change. So I'd much rather just hyper focus on addiction and mental health and everything like that and education and just trying to make some dope content that'll help all of you guys. But anyways, super happy for Slazo. Go check out his video if you haven't followed up with that. His situation was absolutely insane and on a way bigger scale and I'm glad to see that he's doing better. All right, but anyways, I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, stay tuned because I'll be doing the next Shane Dawson palette giveaway very soon, the full-on conspiracy palette. All right, and make sure you're following me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul so you get updates um, about like mental health blog posts, things I'm doing, new videos, all that, all that kind of stuff. And, and you guys, feel free to DM me anytime. Anytime DM me. I might not get back to you right away, but I'll, I'll be there when I can. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.